Libya on Monday summoned the U.S. ambassador to the country for questioning over the weekend capture of a suspected al-Qaeda leader on Libyan territory. Libya's justice minister said the abduction of Alibi was considered kidnapping and was against the law in Libya. He said that while the abduction was illegal, Alibi was now in U.S. custody and would be subject to its justice system. We were surprised in the sense that we did not expect it. We expected that we were being supported and that we need all the support to maintain stability in the country and to support the effort to improve security. But the news itself was definitely a surprise. Guantanamo. U.S. Special Forces captured Abu Anas Alibi on Saturday. Alibi is alleged to be a senior al-Qaeda member and is wanted by the United States in connection to the bombing of American embassies in Tanzania and Kenya in 1998. Meanwhile, Libya's prime minister has said his country is keen on keeping good relations with the United States in the wake of the raid. Speaking to reporters in Rabah during a visit to Morocco, Ali Zaydan, however, insisted that Libyans have the right to be tried at home for any crimes. The United States helped Libya very much during the revolution, and the relations should not be affected by an incident. We emphasize that Libyan citizens should be judged in Libya, and Libya does not surrender its sons. Zaydan's comments were his first since the U.S. Special Forces conducted the raids in both Libya and Somalia. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.